Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. We did this a couple weeks ago where we did a Q&A and I loved it so much that I asked you guys questions on Instagram and on YouTube last night. And we're going to go through and do another Q&A while I get ready and put on my makeup. I'm not sure what I want to do. I want to be a little extra even though I am not going anywhere at all. But... We're going to do something fun. So anyways, before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on today's video. You guys already know I absolutely love them. They have inspired by your favorite designer fragrances. This month we have Ambery Sage. And the top notes are Bitter Almond, Sage, Lavender. Middle notes are Leathery Notes, or Oris, and Vanilla. And base notes are Amber, Blonde Woods, and Tonka Bean. And this is inspired by Tom Ford's effing fabulous Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. And it smells really good. Is this a unisex one? Because I feel like it could be. It smells really good. I love that, yeah, this is definitely, this is either male or unisex, because that is definitely, yeah. Um, I love their little magnetic cap. Their fragrances start at $29. They also have a try before you buy program where if you don't like anything or if you don't like what you buy, you can go ahead and send back, no questions asked. Um, and they end up donating those fragrances that are sent back, which I absolutely love. I love what they stand for. I love this company. And you can stock up on a whole bunch of designer inspired or inspired by your favorite designers. I'm talking like YSL, Chanel, Gucci, Tom Ford. And um, you can stock up on your favorite designer perfumes and you're not going to break the bank. So that way you can have a large collection, especially if you love to have different scents and all that kind of stuff. So link is going to be down below. Make sure you use coupon code MissGreenEyes10 to save you 10% and also pay with catch at the checkout for you guys to earn rewards on your purchase as well. Okay, now let's get into it. I am gonna work on eyes first. I've already primed my eyelids first. I'm going to start with the questions that I got on Instagram and then move over to the ones that I got on YouTube. I actually haven't looked at the ones on YouTube at all. I saw some of the some of the ones on Instagram from last night. So, okay, so some of them are multiple questions that I answered in last on in the last Q&A, so I will just make sure to link that video down below. But this one is a good one. What's on your bucket list for 2023? By the way, I'm using the Artistry palette from Morphe. It's 33, 35V. I like this one a lot. And I'm probably just going to do some basic B stuff. <laughs> like basic stuff that I always do. But let's just get started. So what are what's on your bucket list for 2023 really honestly like i really want to take my kids on a summer vacation somewhere whether it's to the beach whether it's on a cruise whether it's to great wolf lodge for a couple of nights whether it's a stay staycation at a fancy hotel here i don't know something um obviously to lose like a good 80 pounds would be phenomenal. But the biggest thing is to grow in my career because I have not grown in my career in the past like two, three, maybe even four years. So that would be amazing too. Are those like bucket lists or goals or are they, those like kind of the same thing? Because, yeah, I definitely also want to go to more places in Charlotte and explore it more. I would love, love to go to the mountains. I would love to... I'm like, usually I take longer to think about these things. But, yeah, just like do more things. Make friends. That's a big bucket list item. Go to more dance classes. Get better at dance. Get better at dance. That's a good one. And find the love of my life. I would love, I 
came across this TikTok last night and it talked about this woman saying you need to treat dating like you treat a job and ever for five you know you you go to work and and you do what you got to do um and she said some words or whatever about you know working for other people and stuff which everyone has their own opinions on that but she talked about you know here you are not willing to put in the time and effort to meet the love of your life and your best friend and your partner and it really got me thinking i'm like yeah because sometimes it's just like oh i'm just i'm just not made for this online dating i think everyone can be made for online dating you just have to have the patience and you have to do the work you really do have to do the work because you really do have to weed through a lot of douchey men but she says she met her husband and I know there are people who have she was like are you what are you what are you waiting for to meet him in the produce section I'm like yeah kind of and she's like I mean who uh, I mean I know it happens but I feel like there's probably more success stories with online so I'm gonna give it another go I think I'm gonna do what's that one um what is that one eHarmony since I've already paid for six months I'm, I put it on hold but I'm gonna do that one I want to say like maybe January February but I'm gonna start dating again and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go in with that attitude like this is going to be hard work and I just I want it I want to like meet someone and have them be the one you know and that's just not always what what it's gonna are you guys okay with me like turning see if I can somehow like I feel like I want to face you guys I can use this I'll do it like this I'll use this mirror oh I'm trying to like have my phone not turn off that's so annoying how do you feel about the upcoming changes on WW now when I read this last night I said huh oh I was kind of upset like I, I actually did not know that there were changes at all that were happening. So that is the first I'm hearing of it. But let me tell you, last night I did a Google search and I was like, Ch upcoming WW changes. And at first I was like, no, because I love it so freaking much. And it's just been, I've been so successful on it that I just was like, oh, I don't want it to change because I literally just started. So for me, I haven't been doing it long at all. Apparently, Weight Watchers changes their program every two years. I didn't know that, but that's one thing I learned last night. Another thing I learned last night is apparently this new program, some people aren't having a whole lot of success. So they're changing it. And it's still not like there still hasn't been. I think that there was something about there, there are going to be changes, but they're not talking about them yet. And they're not talking about when they're going to happen. But there's speculation that it's going to be, I think, next week. Like the 14th is when it's supposed to switch over. And Weight Watcher members have the ability to, like, the choice to whether stay on this personal point program until January or switch over. I want to say upon reading the speculations of what they're saying are going to be changes, the biggest thing that I really loved about this whole WW program was the fact that it encouraged me to drink more water and eat more veggies because for um, when you drink 64 ounces of water, they give you a point and then for every cup of non-starchy vegetables that you eat, they also give you a point. So like you could literally rack up like six, seven points in a day to eat towards something more of like your more like favorite foods so for me like I don't like that feature going away but I also understand why because I can understand if you are doing that every single day and you're eating like seven cups of non-starchy vegetables and then you're trading it in for like seven something like more indulgent vegetables and all that stuff still has calories and they still have calories so I don't know that was the only thing that I was kind of like bummed about though because I mean I have my zero point foods I don't like I eat them like especially when I first started I ate them like I eat eggs every single day every single day I do eat eggs but they're still gonna do now I I don't know that I would because I was looking back and they were talking about the 
freestyle blue, purple, green program. I don't know that I would have liked any of those. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel, but I'm, I think what they were saying, one person was saying it's, they talk to an employee or something or something, something, and they're thinking the new changes are that it's going to be, they're doing away with the adding in points for water and veggies and that they're going to give you more zero point foods, but they're also doing away with the potatoes, the oatmeal and the brown rice as zero point foods. And they're just going to be like Greek yogurt, fish, lean poultry, which I kind of like. I kind of like that aspect of it too. So like when I first started reading, I was like, absolutely not. But as I started reading more into it, I was like, okay, I think I could like this because especially like going, like thinking about going on this cruise come December, it's like, um, do I, like, if I have more choices, which are they really going to have plain Greek yogurt, plain Greek, plain Greek yogurt? I don't know. I'm, but I may be able to have more, more zero point foods. So I don't know. I'm going to see. I kind of like it, but I'm also kind of like, but we'll see. We'll see. I definitely, if I don't like it, then I probably won't. Um, but then someone else asked, what made you decide to try Weight Watchers? And it was because of the fact that like every time, I felt like every time I would go onto TikTok or something, because I follow like a lot of weight loss, I especially follow a lot of like weight loss coaches that really emphasize eating whatever you want and eating in a calorie deficit and not cutting out any food groups and food groups and not cutting out like these certain foods and whatnot because that's my belief too. So one person would say, eat this many calories to be in a deficit and deficit. And then this person would say, eat this way. And then this person would say, eat this way. And it was like one person's way was like me, me eating at like 3,100 calories. How am I going to lose weight eating 3,100 calories? Like I, it doesn't make it make sense for me, but I don't know. She, she's a health coach and she said it, it works. I don't know. But then another person would say, eat 2,700 calories. And I'm like, okay. But then another person would say, like, eat 1,700 calories. And I'm like, whoa, that's a huge difference. So I just started getting really confused about the whole calorie thing. And I was just getting too confused. And I was, like, kind of, like, wanting something different anyways. Because I felt like I was having problems with, because I was in a calorie deficit and I was just focusing on calories, I wasn't really focusing on eating and changing my, my relationship with food. And I, I really do feel like WW has helped me. I don't feel, I know WW has helped me with that because of the fact that you're picking and choosing what you're going to eat. So like before I would eat like a bag of chips at lunch and I would have them for a snack. And then I would also for a snack have like um, like a Rice Krispie treat or some kind of sweet thing that was like 100 calories but it's loaded with carbs and sugar. But because I was in a calorie deficit, I it was I was able to have those. Well, like, a, I don't know how much a Rice Krispie treat, but I'll give you an example. Like a 130 calorie bag of, um, what are they called? Brownie, brownie thins. Those brownie brittle thins, so freaking good. I was so excited when I saw that they have now have them in individual packs. Do you wanna know how many points are in there? Seven. Seven points and it's literally only 130 calories. So that's how it's helped me personally change my relationship with food and like really truly pick and choose what foods like I love my Cheetos, but because, you know, especially in October, I was eating three pieces of candy a day. I wasn't able to eat my Cheetos every single day. So because I was choosing those three pieces of candy, sometimes I was able to eat my Cheetos and sometimes I wasn't. So it was like all about changing my relationship with food and like helping me make healthier decisions. So I'm really loving it. And I take back what I said. Even if I don't love the new WW changes as much as I like this current, 
I will still continue because of the fact that I, I just, I just, I literally just focus on points and that's it. I don't have to think about anything. They literally do all of the work for me. They're like, hey, we still want you to splurge and have a splurge meal. If you want it, you can take it. If you don't, then don't, don't worry about those points. But if you want to, here they are. And this is exactly how much you can eat and we think you should eat. Whereas before that's helped me with my all or nothing. So like now I can go out on Saturday and eat a lunch and not feel guilty and then not go crazy either and then binge the whole day which really messes up my progress that I've done the whole entire week so I just love how much it has changed my mindset what is it like being a youtuber I freaking love being a youtuber it is the best job I've ever had in my life best job when people ask me what's the worst thing about your job, it's like the comment section. That's it. That's it. And then the fact that like people, people share their opinions and they think that they're because you put yourself out there, they hide behind the excuse of like being a bully behind, well, like you put yourself out there. So that is the absolute worst part of the job. Um, and then obviously the inconsistency, but other than that, oh my God, I love my freaking job. Um, it does take a lot of self-discipline. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of, um, you're, you're having to keep up with the times. You're having to keep up with new things. You're having to keep up with trends. So it's a lot of like keeping up with things. You're having, you're having to be very self-disciplined, very self-sufficient, very motivated to continue to keep creating content. Even when you don't feel like it, you still got to do it. And even one, another hard thing too is I need to be doing a long video because this video is going to be like another hour long, which is fine. It's whatever. But, um, it's like one of those things where it's like, um, if I'm having a really crappy day, I will sometimes share it. But a lot of times I'm just like, this isn't even worth it because this is just like, it's normal life. Crap happens. But man, I have to put on a smile and I have to be like, okay, guys, hey. And that that's another hard thing about the job. But I mean, you kind of have to do that for a job when you go into the office. Um, do you still do accounting? No, I do not. As a matter of fact, I did get an accounting job and then I got fired like three days later. You probably remember that though. Uh, how does it work when you have a YouTube channel in regards to taxes? So... You can either do, you can either pay your taxes quarterly or you can pay them at the end of the year. People who are making the big bucks on YouTube, they usually um, do theirs quarterly because it, you, yeah, everything you pay is like, it is, it gets to be a lot because everything is, you don't pay taxes with on every month, you know, as you get your paychecks or whatever. But, um, I just basically am super organized with writing down all of my, everything that I make with sponsors and, and all that kind of stuff. And I just, I mean, I do my own taxes at the end of the year and I will, um, with doing, with doing YouTube, um, you can do, uh, write-offs and you have business expenses and stuff. Um, so then you just like keep track of that too. So yeah, I think me being in accounting has helped me be able to kind of maneuver that part of YouTube. This is so sweet. Thank you so much, Lizzie. I don't have a question. I just want to say you look amazing. Whatever you're doing is paying off. Thank you. I'm doing WW and I'm loving it. I really am. I was shocked when I got on the scale this morning, you guys, because my weight has not budged since October 19th. And that's when I started working out. And it always happens whenever I start working out or like, you know, just working out just in general, sometimes will like saw my weight loss on the scale. And so it'll be a little frustrating and it's like, ugh. But it budged today and it budged in a way where I literally was like, <gasps> no way and then I had to get on the scale four times to make sure that it was correct and it said it every single time so if you guys want to know go follow me on my weight loss channel um because I update every week over there but thank you Lizzie you're so sweet 
Have you ever thought about getting weight loss surgery of any kind? Okay, this is a really good question. I never thought about it until this year because you guys know I've really been struggling with it. I mean, I pretty much have struggled with it ever since having kids and gaining all of the weight that I gained. So with that being said, this year I was like, okay, like I am tired of like my weight, my weight is really starting to hold me back from things that I actually want to do. Like go down water slides. Like, am I really going to have to sit there and be like, what's the weight limit for this slide? Or I'm tired of having to Google weight limits for chairs, weight limits for weight limits for like you know slides I can't I can't ride a roller coaster my son is now into them and he wants to ride them and I'm like sorry I would love to but I can't I also feel like ever since I don't feel like I know ever since I've gained weight and I've gotten over 300 pounds I have become way more claustrophobic than I ever have before I know that's my issue with public transportation because I take up more space and I just feel more claustrophobic and I, I just, I, I don't know, like with heights, with balconies, like I'm like, I'm going to break this balcony. So I don't go out on balconies. Now I was, it's funny. Cause when I went on that rooftop bar with my friends, they were like, you're so afraid of heights. I wouldn't get close. And I stayed back because I was like, Oh, if I get too close to the edge, like I'm going to break it. I know it's a crazy mentality to have, but I really do. And I just, it has just stopped me and held me back from doing so many things. Not because Oh, your weight's holding you back. Don't let you wait. Don't let your weight hold you back. It's like physically impossible for me to do a lot of things I want to do. So it's like not holding me back in the fact that like, oh, I look fat. I don't, I don't know. Like in a vain way, no, in a physically I cannot fit or I cannot get on these things. Specifically down in University City, there's these boats that I want to ride, these little paddle boats. Well, I have to be 250 pounds before, I have to get down to 250 pounds before I can ride those things. And I started thinking, you know, all of these things I can't do, if I don't get my stuff together, like I'm going to have weight loss surgery. So I did start researching it in the summer of this year. I've asked people that have had it before. Everyone that I've ever encountered said yes but then when you look at the side effects like I mean one of my friends has had it and she's like you know I, I don't regret it at all but then she gets sick a lot like if she doesn't overeat or if she overeats or eats something that she she shouldn't be eating or something that doesn't agree with her and it's just like I don't I feel like that's just so if I absolutely have to and I've really done and I think this is another reason why I've done I've I've done WW is the fact that like I did it before but I also wasn't in it because I was going through so much with my ex that I just ugh, I just couldn't focus on that right now right right at that point but I don't know like I need to because honestly when it comes to weight loss surgery it is freaking permanent permanent and it's just I don't know I just I don't know I just I don't like the idea of it I just don't like the idea of it and then you could die you could have complications the rest of your life and I'm like I'm just gonna continue to work on myself work on my issues and work on my eating habits because honestly like you can get the surgery and yeah you'll lose weight really quickly but after that year, that hunger hormone comes back and then you're back to, I feel like I'm like too bright. Have I been too bright? Hold on. Maybe that's a little bit better. But I feel like once that hunger hormone comes back, then it's like you're back on your own again. But have you been working on yourself the whole time? Because I feel like I probably wouldn't. Like if I'm not able to eat and I'm losing weight so fast, I probably would not be working on my relationship with food. And you can stretch your stomach back out and... I don't know. Again, it's something I have really considered this year for the very first time because I've never considered it before. But, hmm, I don't know. Uh, would you want any more kids in the future? If you would have asked me this a year ago, I would have been like, yeah. But now that my kids are older and they're becoming more independent, which makes me sad, but at the same time, I'm like, I can start traveling. Like, when they're, like, you know, 
living out living their own lives like I can I can travel and you know we moms we have to make a lot of sacrifices for our kids and so I was like I wouldn't want to start over again so no I just look forward to grandbabies in the future like future future I thought because Honestly, I can't have my own kids. Well, I cannot have, I still produce eggs. So technically I could do a surrogate thing. And I actually thought about that. Like if I meet someone and they're like dead set on like they really want a kid or they really want a kid with me, but I'm 42. I just, I don't want to start over. Like, mm -mm. huh. Carolina, thank you. I just left a tip on a video on how to give your pumpkin pie a little more stiffness, use unflavored gelatin, which can be easily found at places like Walmart and Target. Okay, so girl, like how much do I use and do I put it in with the mixture before I bake it? I'm assuming yes, but let me know because I love it. But yeah, the texture is, it's a little off. Will you be doing Vlogmas this year? No, it messed up my channel so bad last year. I will probably never do it again. Um, do you guys get together with, with extended family for the holidays, like parents or siblings? Um, I used to with my siblings. I'm not going to anymore. Um, I don't get together with my fam with my with my parents for Thanksgiving, but I might this year. I know I did last year for Christmas. They came here. Um. Now, the kids are supposed to be going with their dad because they haven't, I can't remember the last time they've spent a holiday with him. So, yeah, they're supposed to be going with their dad. And if they do, I'm honestly low-key going to spend the holiday alone and I'm going to do exactly what I want and I'm going to have a really fabulous time. So, I'm actually kind of excited, but watch me low-key be like when it gets here, be like... <laughs> You never know. You never know with me. Background is super cute. Thanks, girl. Um, that was the background of the picture. I wanted that to be my thumbnail for my vlog, for my weekly vlog. Um, whatchamacallit? I wanted that to be one of the pictures in my thumbnail for my vlog. There you go. But it it just, it, it was just weird compared to the other pictures that I had because the the coloring and everything the quality was just off the quality was just off if you could be any celebrity for a day who would you be oh that's a good one Teresa oh, who would I be for some reason the first thing that comes to mind I think I've just been seeing a lot about her is Gwen Stefani but I don't know that I want to be her god who would I want to be Whoever's dating Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> no, that's not my answer though. God, oh, ooh. Hmm. You could be a celebrity for a day. Who would you be? Who do I love, like, actress wise? I would love to know what it's like to be, like, um, what's her name? Megan Fox. To be as gorgeous as her for a day. That would be awesome. So I guess I would choose her. Although I, I wouldn't want to date. Like don't. I don't want Machine Gun Kelly. And I think I would just go and like shop. And see what it was like to be a celebrity for a day. In Megan Fox's body. Because she is freaking gorgeous. Who else is gorgeous? Megan Fox is like the one that comes to mind. Although like going back to Gwen Stefani, she's married to Blake Shelton and he's pretty hot, you know? What do you want for Christmas to take my kids on a cruise? I'm trying to make it happen, y'all. I'm trying to make it happen. That is the one thing that I want. Well, I mean, if I could have a list of things I want for Christmas, here it is. I want to take my kids on a cruise. Um, I want to... Be able to get them more than just the cruise because I would like for them to open up some gifts. And uh, that's for them though. For me, 
hell what am I talking about that is for me like seeing my kids faces and getting them all excited and happy is totally for me too but um for me I would love to meet the love of my life because I'm really tired of being single and I'm really tired of doing this alone and I'm really tired of oh it's just very overwhelming it's very 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 overwhelming you think that when the kids get older they're like less no no it's harder it's harder in a lot of different ways. Did I put on my primer? I don't think I did. I'm really just feeling overwhelmed being a single mom. Um, and I would just love a partner in life. I would even love to just meet another single mom and we just help each other out. I would even love if we like connected so much to the point where we became roommates and we rented or bought this huge house together and, and we just like, you know, like, split the bills it was like it would be like having a two income family again or a household that would be amazing that would be so amazing um so yeah those are also well I wouldn't say I don't know I don't know if that really answers the question because it's not like specific I mean the biggest thing is like going on that cruise for my kids and I'm trying really hard it's obviously more expensive to do it during the holidays and I really can only work around their schedule so it's it's expensive it really is and it just seems lately like it's one thing after another this this is broke you got to replace this you got to do this and it's like but I'm not giving up hope I am not giving up hope I'm really not as long as they have tickets I'm not giving up hope for making that happen um y'all are all saying I'm looking good thank you like I know like sometimes you just don't see it you know what I mean like especially the scale not moving it's just like oh my gosh but I will say for the first time this morning I put on these pants and I was like Oh, they feel good. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Okay, girl, you asked me a lot of good questions. Okay. This person said the question could be about anything, right? And then that was, was that your question? Oh, they just did one minute ago. Um, okay. Favorite Christmas movie? I really love The Last Holiday, but I wouldn't, like, consider that, like, my favorite Christmas movie. Y'all are going to think that this is so silly, because it's a Hallmark movie or a Lifetime movie, but the girl from Clueless, the one that was like, whatever, I can't remember her name, the redhead girl, she did a movie, and I, I just, my favorite Christmas movies are the ones where it's like they think that they want to live this life, or maybe they made choices that, that brought them down the wrong path and they thought that they should have made those choices but they're allowed to go back and spend one more Christmas and then they're able to like redo I just love those kind of movies I don't remember the one that with the with the girl from the whatever I don't remember from Clueless what her with that video or what I will watch that every year though it's like kind of like a no it's not like a Scrooge thing it's like a thing where you can go back in time, I also love the ones with the Scrooges. Like there was this one, is it Vanessa Williams? Is she the main like lead person, or is she one of the one of the ghosts of Christmas, like Christmas past, Christmas present? I don't remember, but that one's that one's a good one too. So those are my favorite, and I will literally watch them every year. I also would say like I love Cameron Candice Bure. but like the past couple of years, I have not liked her uh her Christmas movies like I literally fell asleep last year on hers I was like I didn't think I was going to I literally fell asleep I was like well I guess I didn't like that one the one that was my favorite of Candace Cameron Bure Bure's I would say is um the shoe the one with the shoes that one was really cool but she also was able to like go back in time but also the one where she switched with her twin that one was really cool too so, um, yeah, it's not like the generic, like, uh, elf or anything like that. It's, I like a lot of, I'm going to be honest. I haven't been able to like really watch Hallmark movies the past couple of years and like really be into them because they're so like, 
with the love and uh, I'm sorry I just sometimes I just can't it makes me it makes me really sad um okay get my bronzer out what is your favorite Christmas music my favorite Christmas album is hands down the album from NSYNC hmm. let me see how I can do this and then my favorite Christmas song on that album is Silent Night, I think is, is what it is. And the way that JC sings that, oh, it is so good. I hate that JC did not go, like, get popular or, like, famous on his own. Because he is so freaking talented. I'm going to be as bold as to say that I find him more talented than Justin. I mean, now Justin has the dancing and you can tell it's way more natural for him, but I just, I'm kind of not a fan of Justin anymore. I don't know. I really wish that JC would have made it over Justin, but they put so much promo into making Justin famous. They did, they did JC really wrong, but anyways, I'm like going totally off, off, off topic, but that is my favorite. I also, of course, love Mariah Carey's song, All I Want for Christmas. Um, favorite Christmas cookies are the peanut blossoms or the peanut butter blossoms with the peanut butter cookie, and then you put the sugar on top and you put the Hershey Kiss. Those are amazing, and then my family also makes this amazing, like, wedding, wedding cookies, but it has, like, lard and, like, shortening and stuff in it, and they are so good, but they are so not good for you, but they are so freaking good. Favorite brand of jeans? This is a good question, but it's also a hard one, because, like, right now, I've been really struggling to get into jeans. When I don't struggle, what is my favorite brand? wax wax jeans I freaking love them because they are so freaking comfortable they're so stretchy and they literally feel like leggings but they look so good those are my favorite and you I haven't been able to find them in a size bigger than a size 20 so I can't really fit in them right now but girl when I do oh yes they're so good I low-key I don't know if I just I don't like torrids right now because I can't fit in them and I just they just fit weird but I feel like every brand fits me weird right now what is your favorite song at the current moment I wouldn't say I have a favorite song there's nothing specifically that I'm actually actually there is a song that is like I would literally fall to go to sleep with this song every freaking night because it's so good she's an independent artist I found her on TikTok and she has a song called One More Shot. And I'm telling you, the way that this girl sings. I don't remember her name. It's Sill or something, C-I-L. I'll have to, like, see if I can link. Y'all have to go listen to that song. It is so good. Her voice is so freaking beautiful. It is beautiful. And that song, the way she sings it, it's just so beautiful. I was telling my kids, I was like, this song is so beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. And they were like, you know, she's talking about killing him in this song. Right? <laughs> I'm like, sometimes men deserve it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all know I'm kidding. Um, but it, it's a really good song. It's a really good song. Okay, so I have time for a few more questions. And Martha asks, what keeps you motivated on your diet girl honestly like motivation just doesn't exist like because it comes and goes and it's so fleeing and like you cannot depend on motivation consistency is where it's at you just have to be patient that's been the hardest thing for me patience and consistency because motivation is it's there one day and then it's gone the next and then you'll be like searching for it and it's like where is it and it could be gone for like weeks or months on end you just have to keep going um you also said i keep slipping and then i get all shucks then i can't find the motivation for me to start over again people tell me i'm weak you are not weak you are human girl it is hard 
it is so hard what to do. Um, find something that works for you. And when I say this, I mean like don't listen to toxic <laughs> diet culture. If you are like, okay, I like, okay, for instance, with Weight Watchers, it's like, I need to figure out a way to be able to still eat my favorite foods. Do people like think that I'm like, oh my gosh, you cannot eat that? Yes. Do people have opinions? Yes. Do I care? No. Because, girl, it is working. It is so working. So you just need to figure out what works for you. Like, what activities do you love to do? Um, that's something big. And no, it is It is not. It does not. One of those things where it's like, oh, exercise and you'll lose weight. No. Exercise to help you feel better. Because what I'm noticing, too, is... Working out has decreased my anxiety. It has decreased my depression. It puts me in a better mood. And overall, I want to now make better choices because of that. Um, find other things to cope with. If you are an emotional eater, find other things to do. For me, like, I love doing makeup. Like, if you guys notice, I've been doing a lot more with my makeup because it keeps my mind busy. Also gets my creative juices flowing, but it's just, I don't know. I just, I enjoy it and it keeps my mind. So keep yourself busy. That's been something that's very, very, very important too. And like, I notice if I'm more idle or on the days where I'm more idle, I, it's harder for me to stay on track. So I think that's something too. Also, like if you need to make big changes or do drastic, like take drastic measures, do so. Um, I knew that having a TV in my bedroom was detrimental to me and that I knew, I do I miss it? Yes, I miss it so much. But I also know how toxic it was for me. And I also knew that, like, if I was sad or depressed, I would watch TV and then I would just feel worse because I was watching stuff that wasn't inspirational. Um, motivational speeches or motivational self-help books, listening to them, that helps. So, yeah. Also, like, Finding what works best for you. Is it calorie deficit? Is it keto? Um, for me, I always say, like, do something that you can do the rest of your life, which I know with keto, you can do a thing where, like, you add back in carbs, but you're never going to be able to, like, eat. I don't feel like you'll ever be able to eat, you know, like, carbs without gaining weight and I could be wrong on that I don't know but it's just like the research that I've done and personally for me it's like finding things I enjoy like I kid you not when I'm dancing it does not feel like a workout now do I still struggle to like go and dance yeah absolutely because again I'm human but once I get into it oh girl I'm into it and I'm like having fun and I'm laughing and I'm just like it doesn't feel like a workout, especially when I used to go in person in Georgia. Oh my gosh, so much fun. And then I made friends too. Um, those are my tips. That what that's a big, those are big things that help me. But I guess the biggest is like, like literally all of October, I ate three pieces of candy every single day, every single day without fail. I ate three pieces of candy. As a matter of fact, yesterday, November 3rd, was my last little packet of candy. And the way that I did that was I'm the kind of person that I can be out of sight, out of mind. So I just, I gave them to my daughter. I said, here you go. Uh, I'll, I'll get one from you every night. And when I realized that I could handle more I would grab like a handful and I like my candy cold so I would always keep it in the fridge but I would also like try to hide it so I wouldn't see it again because it's still out of sight out of mind even though I knew it was there I I was creating a um, an abundance mindset instead of a scarcity mindset and I think that that's a lot of times where we can fail is 
we can't eat this, we can't eat this, we can't eat this, we can't eat this, like I'm never going to have it again, so let me go ahead and eat all of it, and then, oh my gosh, now I've eaten, now I've gained like 100 pounds, or now I've gained 5 pounds, and oh, I feel so guilty. Also, try to get rid of the guilt. That's a big thing, too. When you go eat out, I am trying to take the words cheat meal, treat meal out of my vocabulary because we should not be labeling food as good and bad. Um, so yeah, and just working on yourself, you know, working on your triggers, knowing your triggers, knowing what you can handle, what you can't handle. I think that's big too. Um, I wish you all the best of luck because this is hard. Don't, don't like get down on yourself and don't feel like you're a failure because you can't because we all struggle, girl. And I think the, the big thing is finding that, that thing that works for you and just changing that all or nothing mentality if, if that's what you have. Curvy underscore Bond said, I live in upstate New York, New York and can't stand winter anymore. Girl, I do not blame you. I feel like I need to powder some more. But then like if I powder, I don't know. Why did you decide to leave Buffalo? Honestly, I had no choice. My best seat is from the Orchard Park area. I love your videos. I had no choice because I moved when I was 10. So it was like my, my parents moved. Um, so obviously like I was 10. So I had to move with them. So I didn't have a choice. But I will say this. My reasons for leaving Georgia and my home is probably like different than yours but I don't regret a thing. And if you want to move, I say make preparations and do be, and do so because you could always move back. Now when I think about moving back to Georgia, like I have this feeling of like sickness in my stomach cuz I'm like I can't even though my my friends are there. I do not regret moving at all. So I, I feel you with those winters though. Like I think about like how in the world did I do that? So thank you all again so much for asking all of the questions. You guys are amazing. I appreciate it. I love having these chit chat. Sit down, get ready with me with you guys. I literally feel like I'm just like chatting with girlfriends and it's like so much fun. So thank you for participating and thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting. You guys are seriously the best. Um, again, huge thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on today's video. Don't forget to go down below in the description box and click the link and then also use coupon code MissGreenEyes10 to save you 10% off your order. Have an amazing day. We are in like the holiday season is starting. Are you guys ready for it? When are y'all decorating? Let me know your plans for Thanksgiving your plans for Christmas, what are your New Year's Eve plans, are you dressing up, are you doing super casual, do you have your outfits picked out, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.